Hello, 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 everybody. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We're going to be picking up where we left off in the last part. So, even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was that young lad in the black. That much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premise, uh, premise, premise, <laughs> premise says at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone, he was the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Hmm. These testimonies are certainly yes. compelling. Wait, that's that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young man at this table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. Attention! You call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. It is evident beyond all reason, uh, reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution was photographic, has photographic evidence of this fact. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime, counsel? Indeed, of the table at which the victim was dining, taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As, as can plainly be, be seen, there is only one place set. Excuse me, hold on a moment, I'm noticing something. Hmm. No, I think it might be alright. I thought the meat was like uneaten at the time. As can plainly be seen, there is only one place set. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim not in the company of anyone else. Ah, this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. The photographic print of the crime scene has been entered into the courtroom court record. I don't understand. What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. The waiter before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true! I, I saw her! I swear that I saw a woman with him. It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witness testimonies we have just heard leave no further room for d doubt. These are very sensitive political times. As we all know, the ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Takatsuchi Ayuchi, will have contributed to the admity of these two great empires in an honor. Come on, Rinosuke, don't give up just yet. How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. Stand tall, Ryonosuke. It's not over yet. What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it. To draw out the truth in your cross-examination. I... I don't know, Kazuma. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witness. Make it a quick, make it quick, understood? Tsk. Wolves can be so unbending at times. Ugh. Man, I've been looking forward to play some more of this. I recorded this late at night and only had enough time for that one part. But I'm very happy to get back into it. The true culprit. Even what I... Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing, is it? Yes! Can we press you on that? No, 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 it's not the same thing at all. For a start, I didn't fire that gun. 
We have a difference of opinion on that. The opinion of an a uniformed officer versus that fledging cadet. Um, I don't think so. Consider this defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. Um, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? <laughs> and yet, it is an undeniable fact that I did blink. So there you have it. Well, wow, that's a very simple reasoning. Or uh, have what? Tension! The sound of a firearm rang in my ears in the very next moment. I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all, don't you? Grr. And let us not forget that the anti antique dealer witnessed the accused in the most incriminating position as well. Isn't that so, karakuta san Um, are you going to say anything? Oh, we just continue. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man. He was that young lad in black. That much I did see for myself. What evidence do I have, actually? Let's see. Is there anything contradicting between these two photos? No, it doesn't really look like it to me. How about the floor plan? Let me take a look. I mean, where were those guys sitting? That'd be nice to know. Alright, we'll just continue on. Uh, maybe we can press him on that. Yes! Yes, it may be true that I was holding the gun at the point of the time. But I've told you already, that's the only- that's only because I pick it up the floor. Well, obviously, as the culprit, that's the only way you could explain it. I had just finished drinking my coffee and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. At exactly that moment... Bang! A gunshot rang in my ears. Hmm. Full of events beyond our control, life is... Sorry? What do you mean? In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which precipitated this testing predicament. Does everyone just have a blade on hand? Whereas, conversely, I failed to pick up the koda, koban from the, uh, from the floor and find myself in an equally testing predicament as a result. Anyway, the fact remains, myself and I did see you with pistols in hand, standing over the foreigner. Furthermore, a visual search of the premise premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Yes! I feel like just... I mean, if anything I learned from the first game, just keep pressing everything until something makes sense. You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. As you have been at pains to point out time and get time again, I feel I'm growing a callus in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Ugh. If only there had been more people dining there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. The quiet time between lunch and dinner at, in any restaurant. I know of course the place was almost empty, but what you'd, it's what you'd expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of a time to eat. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day, and why he was alone. Yes, Your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was? This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is it? What is that, Counsel? It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Hota Clinic. Yes, there would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon past 1 p.m. Hmm. The very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. 
The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder... What do you think, Ryonosuke? Hmm? Well, it, it is hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Did I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report to be submitted as evidence or not? Uh, sure, let's ask it to be evidence. Yes! If I may, I'd like to ask for the medical record report card to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? Um... The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movement prior to his arrival at the restaurant of no concern. Whether or not they are of concern is up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. I, I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence. Very well, the court will grant the defense request. This youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's the most disturbing trend. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. The victim's medical victim's medical report card has been entered into the court record. Okay. Is there anything I can see? Can I look at it specifically? This is a medical report card. I can't really do anything else with it either. What we need right now is new clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. <laughs> you can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like, but it's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you've forgotten that these witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the accused, Korakuta-san. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Alright, I don't think we need to press that. Therefore, no one other than the black uniformed cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Mm, I guess I'll press yes! that. Maybe I should press the one before it too. Why aren't you telling the truth? What? What did you say, cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's just not possible. Unfortunately for you, Defendant Naruhudo, it's not just a case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry? The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. That's right! <laughs> Precisely. In other words, you are the sole pro proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mentions of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. Tish. <laughs> um, am I missing something here? Excellent work, Ryonosuke. We've gleaned some new information now. Well, yes, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any really real di discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical record uh, report card you got before. Oh, you mean this. Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence, so perhaps we should examine it in a little more detail. How exactly? You'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear a magnifying glass. These are the ones you may examine. Press A, and you can take a closer look at the piece of F in question. Oh, I wish it was that simple for me to just press A. <laughs> All right, well, I have to wait for him to finish talking, actually. Oh, and then I can move it around. To rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles by using those buttons. 
<clears throat> all right tutorial and all that thank you you can move the crosshair around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before if the crosshair starts to pulsate press a to investigate further so partner I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there some, isn't something new to be learned. Examining in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I need to use these buttons, blah blah blah. Inspect, look suspicious. Well, it's clearly told me over here. It says, Hota Clinic. On this medical report card, I hate clinics. Clinics. Almost as much as I hate hospitals and surgeries. Aren't they all the same? When I was five, I caught the only cold I ever had in my life. And I remember, even though I felt awful already, I had to have this hideous injection in my right arm. Bruh, I'll never forget it. Never in my whole life. Most people would give their right arm to have had only one cold in their whole life. Anyway, I don't think this is a clinic where they treat people for Ill illnesses like that. Let's keep looking for clues. We don't want to miss anything. Okay, let's see. Anything specific on here? Required for every visit. Oh, come on. Let's put this in the right way. What does this say? It's a record number. There's no date on it, it looks like. It looks like this medical report card was the first issued quite some time ago. It's probably a record of a long-term treatment. That's why with a family doctor, I imagine. Well, I can't imagine going to a doctor, I mean. As long as I'm alive, I'm never consulting one. Well, it sounds like you're gonna be really dead later in the future. <laughs> well, if you were dead, there'd be no point. So, you'd like, you, so you don't like doctors then? Why would you? They make you drink horrible tasting medicine. They give you painful injections. And then they demand lots of money from you for the privilege. All when you're at your lowest ebb. You sound like a model patient. The bad case of stubbornness, no less. For which the only cure is very bitter medicine indeed. Alright, we did not need to talk about his health, health, his opinion on medical and health. Oh, there's quite a few entries on here. What's the latest one? Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. Ah, there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extra uh, extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so, just before the incident. He had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you from feeling pain. Ah, uh, there's a cautionary notes from the medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours. Post procedure until anesthetic effects have passed. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. The medical report, <coughs> the medical report cards information has been updated in the courtroom. A record of the dental work on the day of murder. I uh, cannot eat or drink. Uh, either way. This is new information. The meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we listen to the testimony again, don't you? Definitely. Oh goodness, my throat is already feel like it's already giving out. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> let me not present, but let me look over this again. A record of dental work. On the day of the murder, the victim had undergone dental treatment and had been prohibited from eating or drinking anything but water. And even if what I saw was in precise moment. No, not that one. Yes, pointing a gun. No, not that one. Furthermore, visual search premises. He was the only one at the time. Indeed, alone, he was the Englishman dining all by himself. Therefore, no other... Ah, uh, I missed it. He was dining all by himself. Let's see. Me? I think it's this one. Because it's referring to him eating. And if he can't have food, that means there would be only one placemat. Let's see if I can present this yes! if I'm on the right track. <clears throat> the statement is clearly odd. 
Uh, nope. I think I messed up here. What appears to be odd is the way you're presenting yourself. Oh, um, pay attention, actually. Okay, yeah, I messed up there. <laughs> uh, which statement is it supposed to be on? I'm supposed to use... I'm hearing some weird noises outside my window. Therefore, no one other than Black Man could have dispatched the Englishman and you've run out. Hmm, I'm trying to find this contradiction. Oh, how did I actually go to the next one? I want to go back. There we go. He's the only one at the time. Hmm, even if it was... Alright, I'm missing something here. <clears throat> Maybe if I push him on the dining part again. Yes. So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone? That I did. Forgive me for the position I place you in. So the testimonies of the old man, the soldier and the waiter all agree on the point. That is in isn't that interesting? And let us not forget the incontestable evidence we have to support their statement as well. Alright, yeah, I think I jumped the gun, so I was supposed to press him on it. As can clearly be seen, there was only a single beefsteak on the victim's table. A meal for one. <laughs> the antique dealer, the sergeant of the waiter who testified before, it's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so, then why? If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, I thought... Hmm... Yes! I guess let's just keep pressing until I find out where. I must have noticed someone else is there. Dr. Wu, the lady there. Is this gonna be the same thing? Time and time of year. He was being callous. Yeah, I gotta have to figure this out. Because I like trying to play this without, uh... <laughs> looking it up. Even though sometimes it's like the answer is really obvious until I actually see it. And then everyone else is going to see it as well. Yeah, restaurant, hotel clinic, yep, yep, we talked about this. Alright, maybe I should press the last part. Oops. Yes! Why aren't you telling the truth? Alright, we already said this part, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I'm trying to skip through this to make sure I don't waste so much time. And gosh, it is hot. Where in this room that I'm recording in. Just 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 just. Hold on, we're gonna escape. Blah blah. Situation be trained. No discrepancies come to light. Blah blah blah. Not so because we have just what we need. It's simple a case of using your advantage now, then what do you mean? There's a description see somewhere. The crucial point is the victim had been prohibited from consuming anything but the water when he was shot. In fact that has not been brought to the court's attention. He's right, thinking about Dr. Wilson's uh circumstance at the incident. Oh you different light. Is that is this new dialogue that came up? Always keep your eye on the progress of the battle, it's the only way to win for sure. Yes! Um, um, well, I think, um, but what are you wittering, lad? Call yourself a lawyer? All right, so it turns out when I presented that piece of evidence earlier, it was too early. What I had to do was press him on that subject and then present the evidence, which is kind of weird because uh, I kind of already knew, but I guess I jumped the gun. I wish I could, but first and foremost here, I'm the accused. You know, okay? Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstance, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in the cross-examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully, you knew exactly what it was that you wanted to say. Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully to say what you're thinking. Alright, and thanks for the advice. 
Come on, lad, just say it. Gorkutsu san, this is the medical report card belonging to the victim. Ah, I see. And I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on the report card with your witness statements? Oh my gosh, he still needs to learn how to slam on the table. Something clearly doesn't add up. Dear me, dear me. Have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry? What? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateur's drivel. But... Let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. If it, it was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant, whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. Urgh, but but that's that's um. Remember, Ryunosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your points. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There is surely no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. The witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearings on the matter at all, for the simple reason that there is no one else besides the pale-faced pupil who could possibly have done it. This medical report card has nothing to do with the case. Do you really believe that? What? That outburst half petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could it possibly be irrelevant? Perhaps because Hota Clinic, which issued the report, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted. What? What's this now? And furthermore, if I told you that as a result the victim had 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 been forbidden from eating. Just, just what are you trying to say, cadet? He had orders not to eat? So what? It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours. Post-procedures uh, post while anesthesia wears off. What? Not that, that can't be. <clears throat> Rokuta san What, boy, what? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, there's more. You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that cannot possibly be the case. Grr. Because the victim, as we now know, I just had one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of the anesthetic. Arrgh. Expertly done, partner. Attention! What? What is this nonsense, you little upstart? These are baseless accusations. Just, just look at the photographic evidence. You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table. Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're all talking about. But can't you follow the logic? How? How dare you? I think it's fair to say that the tables in the restaurant, uh, in this restaurant's case, have turned. Wouldn't you agree, Ryonosuke? Huh? Yes, most definitely. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the pictured beef stick? The court will hear the opinion of the defense of this court new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, that means me. Uh, doesn't it? All right. The answer to question to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of you turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been well an as yet unknown third party I believe obviously it can only have been someone who was sitting at the professor's table 
You will not let this go, will you? There was no yes. such person. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else eating there. Urgh. We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Kazuma, are you insane? You, you wouldn't take on the government. Don't worry, counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have an issue with them. Those two witness in the stand. What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So if it now turns out the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed a compli complicit in compl what? If it's not the right word, complicit in the killing. Implicit in murder? I hope I'm saying that right. No, no, no! Someone said, hold it! N -n -n Negative! There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. Meeting? What? I was just following orders. That's right. As the man says, just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what um, they told us. Um, um, oh, well, you just mentioned. What? What did you just say? Korakuta san? Oh, um, no. You were just following orders. Now, hold on, lad. I was, um, say you never saw the gentlewoman. Urgh. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean. You saw the victim with the lady from overseas. What? Objection! What? What is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, you pair? Oh, these guys are shaking. <laughs> Just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue. Get these guys out of here. <laughs> order! Order! Council, explain what is going on here. It is painfully clear now. You try to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, well um... Oh my gosh, the baby's pulling on him. That's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You... You wouldn't. This can't be happening. You know, Ske? Judging from the way they're reacting to this, I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with a considerable influence. However, I don't believe Ayuchi had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence? There are only a handful of possibilities. It can only have been the government, the military, or the police, I suppose. Well, any ideas who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need a, to name whoever it was that tried to make the witness keep their mouth shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it, really, whoever it was really did it. Wheel this up. Excuse me. Let me read that again. Evidence that proves whoever it was really did wield his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly? Remember, remember how we made pro progress before? Before. Examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result? Oh yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. 
I want answers. If this, if it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe. Please, wait. Your Excellency, I have no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinoto God, I knew nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all this? Hmm? Um, well, Your Excellency, uh, no time to think. I'm just going to have to close my eyes and shout the first name that comes to my head. And who are we going to say? Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses. All right, let's turn the card around. See what this says. Chief Inspector Sawatugo Hosonaga. Primary clinical investigation division. The Pol Imperial Police Bureau. Why does he have Imperial Police Bureau card? Well, that's unexpected. What is it? Look. Do you see it? It says the witness name right here. Sawaturo Hosonaga. Well, yes. Business cards do tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not the name that's expected in its job title. It's job. Oh! Chief Inspector Satoru Hosonaga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector, what on earth? I have no idea, but let's face it. The police have a lot of power and influence. If they're wielding it somehow here, the waiter's business card information has updated in the court record. Okay, the okay, so it is the waiter. Oh yeah, I chose the wrong person, but it turns out I need to inspect that because the waiter is actually an inspector. <clears throat> and sometimes I accidentally rush this, and I only have one try now because of that first initial mess up of me not pressing something and presenting it too early. But yeah, let's go. I think we've got this in the bag. We don't need to worry about that much anymore. Yes! <laughs> well, surely that would be Satoru Hosonaga-san. Hosonaga-san? The waiter who took the stand earlier? Papikaki! What possible reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. For well, once, I would agree with you. If that is, the man truly were a waiter. What? If he truly were? Come on, Ryunosuke. Time to hit the court with the truth. The truth about Sawatoro Hisanaga, real identity as proven by this evidence. Alright, well, I'm actually going to stop this part here. This is going off for longer than I expected. Oh, my throat needs a little bit of break too, so I need a break. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. Sorry for if I'm making a lot of obvious mistakes or mess ups. I'm just trying to get in the rhythm of learning this game, rhythm of an Ace Attorney game once again. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, or subscribe. And until then, I will see you all later. Goodbye!